Okay, so now we're going to demonstrate um, vertical bite wings. So for a vertical bite wing, instead of setting it up so that the sensor goes horizontally, you just turn your sensor up and down so your sensor is vertical as opposed to horizontal. So you're just going to turn your sensor. You're still going to keep the sticky part off to the side more so that you, so your sensor is still um, in the center of your target because if you move this part further over here, you're not going to be centered in the target. So you want to kind of offset it a little bit. So you just rotate your sensor on the bite block for the verticals and then make sure your cord stays out of the way and that Dexter doesn't bite on your cord. And the first one, sometimes you have to take, usually with bite wings, we take two on the left side and two on the right side, a premolar and a molar shot. But sometimes with verticals, you have to take three. You have to take three and three or two and three or, you know, it just depends on the patient's mouth. So um, it's best to, there's lots of different uh, kind of schools of thought, but it's best, I think, to start in the anterior and go for the an the most anterior shot first or what would be the premolar shot. But we want to make sure that we get the distal of the canine. And so just come as anterior as you can, making sure that you can see that the distal of the canine is in the picture. And you're gonna, we're going to, I'm skipping the part where we open the occlusion just for time because I've demonstrated that and it makes the videos a lot longer and we'll address that in lab. I'll help each one of you make sure that we get that. Um, so we're going to start with the, the most anterior film first, make sure that we get the distal of the canine and then we'll see how many teeth we get in the image. So once we set everything up and we have our contact open and we have our right angles, we take the film and then we see did we did we you know get a lot more of the canine than we thought we were going to and we only and we don't see the distal of the second premolar so that that'll tell us that we probably need to take two more images or when we take this film did it end up showing the canine and the premolars and even a little bit of the mesial of the first molar and then we can say oh well maybe we only need to take one more film so we just have to play it by ear with the verticals because it's a little bit different so then the next film I'm going to pretend like I saw everything I needed for the premolars and then I'm gonna put it back for the molar shot so I'll center the the second molar right in the center of the film and I need to get my sensor cord out of the way. And then we'll have the patient bite down and we bring our BID over. So I'll show you a little bit closer on a typodont with the placement, but that's the main difference with the vertical is that our sensor goes up and down instead of horizontal. And we may end up needing to take three films in a bite wing series when doing vertical as opposed to two, just depending on the patient's mouth.